the feast of trumpets rosh hashanah part two remembrance the theme of remembered is thought to be from god remembering sarah and hannah a talmudic dictum rosh hashanah 10b says that on yom teru sarah Ra rachel and hannah were remembered birthday of the world jewish tradition believes this is the birthday of the world because the first part of genesis bereshit is in the beginning when changed around read alept be tishri or on the first of tishri therefore the feast of trumpets is known as the birthday of the world the shofar they were blown at special festivals and to herald the arrival of special seasons leviticus 23:24 first chronicles 15:24 Second Chronicles twenty nine twenty seven, Psalms eighty one three and ninety eight six. Trumpets are among the symbols used in the Book of Revelation, Revelation one ten and eight two. Messianic significance of Rosh Hashanah, the blowing of trumpets is a sign of the return of Christ and memorial of God's grace to Abraham when he substituted a ram to be sacrificed instead of Isaac Genesis 22 Isaac is a type of foreshadowing of Christ just as Abraham offered his son on the altar God offered his son on Calvary's altar Hebrews 11:17 through 19 trumpets were used in giving signals of war jesus is the commander of the army of god the jewish people were looking for a deliverer who would defeat the roman army jesus came the first time to defeat the work of satan and the sin in men's hearts and having spoiled principalities and powers he made a shrew of them openly triumphing over them in it colossians 2:15 in the same way this feast speaks to the christian about spiritual warfare put on the whole armor armor of god ephesians 6 11 through 13. the feast of trumpets can be a very special time for believers in christ our sins are not forgiven just when we believe james 2 19 says thou believest that there is one god thou dost well the, the devils also believe and tremble to be forgiven we must have a repentant heart we must come in submission to our heavenly father asking for forgiveness knowing that he will forgive us as a father forgives his child that forgiveness which we seek has been guaranteed bought and paid for by jesus's atoning sacrifice on the tree baptism evidence shows that jesus was born in the fall it is believed that his baptism was also in the fall after jesus's baptism he spent 40 days in the wilderness then jesus was led of the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil and when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights he was afterward hungered matthew 4 1 and 2 it is possible these 40 days parallel the 40-day season called teshuva return or repentance some believe that this is the time that jesus began his ministry at the end of the 40 days when he began to declare his message from that time jesus began to preach and to say repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand matthew 4:17 prophetic significance the feast of trumpets is a major festival the three major festivals are passover pentecost and feast of trumpets we know passover represents the sacrifice of christ and pentecost represents the coming of the holy spirit so it stands to reason that the feast of trumpets represents a very special time the trumpet was a signal for the field workers to come into temple the high priest actually stood on the southwestern parapet of the temple and blew the trumpet so it could be heard in the surrounding fields at that instant the faithful would stop harvesting even if there were more crops to bring in 
and leave immediately for worship service. Levite 1979-12 The Feast of Trumpets, the Second Coming of Christ When does the Feast of Trumpets happen? Jewish calendar, Tishri 1 and 2, the new moon. Our calendar, September-October. Spring or Fall Feast, Fall Feast. Scripture, Leviticus 23, 24-25. Significance, the Second Coming of Christ. This ends our study of the Feast of Trumpets.